go back to some of the slide material. So um, I'm just going to let that run in the background. So what's actually happening right now is, uh, whoops, this is out of order. So what's actually happening right now is this packaging step. What we're actually doing is, so I kind of talked through a little bit of these components earlier. What we're doing right now is the action, the ABC is being extracted and compiled. We're using that component called LLVM, low level virtual machine, this compiler infrastructure. We're actually extracting the um, ABC blocks and compiling them down into native code. So after we've actually extracted the um, code and we've compiled it, we're actually going through an optimization step. One of the really cool things that um, LLVM does is it has this global optimizer, which I'm by no means smart enough to understand how this works, but it basically tries to see what code is and is not being used inside your app, pull it out, and then what's not being used, toss it on the floor. So your apps try to get slimmer, more effective, and then a lot of the common optimizations, like stuff like loop unrolling and things like that, will happen in this step. The third thing that happens is your app gets produced with the native ARM assembly, and the components that you are using of the flash rendering model get linked together so they form one cohesive application. So basically, we put together what your app was, what the app um, that you use, what parts of the flash um, you know, platform that you needed. So maybe you're using FMS, maybe you're using the MP3 capabilities, maybe you're using touch events. We kind of put these all things together, and then we sign them. So signing basically happens where we take the digital certificate that I'd mentioned earlier, we mash it up with the, um, with the binary content, and we just issue it, we sign your app against the um, signature that, or sorry, the digital uh, certificate that had been provided. So you saw when I was going through the IPA digital signature, I actually gave the password to the file that contained my signature. And then the last thing that happens is these are put together inside of a .app file, which is then sucked up into a nice little IPA. So while that's build and still, um, what you can do, sorry, these slides are a little bit out of, out of order. So these are some of the specific bits that were required. So most important is we're actually building native applications. So you need all the native bits and bobs that are required to build an iPhone application. So that means that you got to go sign up for the Apple developer program, go get your public key, go get your private key, get your bundle seed ID, provisioning certificates, and get your phone provision. It actually sounds like a lot. It's actually really straightforward. Um, what basically happens is you go to apple.com, you go download these things, you install them into iTunes and put them on your device, you wash your hands of it and you're done. It's really actually pretty easy. Once you're done with that, you give that information to Flash Pro, and while it's building, you can actually start then testing on a device. The workflow that we're building here right now is actually really straightforward. We generate this IPA, you can actually then drag and drop it into iTunes. It shows up into iTunes as an application, you push sync, and it gets moved on to your device. This, at this time, what happens in the iPhone and with iTunes is it actually verifies that the app that you're putting on is signed with the same certificate that is allowed to be run on your device. That's where the code signing step kind of is really important. You can also use the iPhone configuration utility, which is free from Apple. It's available for both Mac and PC. Or you can actually use Xcode, which is available only on the, uh, on the Mac side. So right now, on device debugging, in the, um, what we've built so far, is kind of rudimentary. You know, there's, we're not going to split hairs here. It's a lot of you know, trial and error, trial and error. One of the things we're looking to do is add uh, trace debugging, and so that you'll actually, in Flash Pro, or um, you know, whatever your tool of choice is, be able to connect remotely to a device over the Wi-Fi and have your trace statements kind of stream back to your desktop computer so you can see what your, your app is saying. Cross our fingers, one of the other things we're hoping to add is actual proper debugging on the device, and so that you'll actually be able to, and I hope you know, next year one of us will be able to stand up in front of here and sh watch a flash app being debugged on device, you know, that'll be really cool. But you'll be able to set breakpoints, watch the breakpoints get hit, and go through it. So let's take a look at where this is. It's kind of still going on, so let's go here. So what I have here is, here's um, bolletsdemo.ipa, and I'm going to fire up iTunes and go grab my cable here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Somewhere in here. Should have pulled it out earlier. Okay, here's my cable. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this iPhone. This is a regular 3G iPhone, nothing fancy here. And I'm going to go then plug it into my device. Or plug it into my laptop, excuse me. What you'll see here is that this gets recognized right here. In my applications list, while well, this thing's catching up with me, I have all these great apps that we've got built from our uh, friends and friends across the community. What we also have here is Bullets Demo. Here it is. So I'm going to stop this right now. So basically what I did was this app, and I'm going to do this real fast. I'll show you in Finder right here. 
this is this IPA file that we'd created. So it's that file available here. Now if I go to my device and click on applications, I can actually, I'm going to reinstall it right now just to show you. I'm going to apply to install it. And what you'll actually end up seeing is, you'll end up seeing this thing sync onto the device right now. I'll show you in a minute. What's actually happening is iTunes is copying the bits onto the device and it's going to be verifying the signature of the application to make sure it's appropriate for my app. Don't install that. Sorry. This is going to be a bit of a ta-da at some point. Did that happen? Hold on. So hopefully, at this point, I've got... Oh, here we go. Cool. So I'm going to take it over here. Go out here. What you'll see here is ye old iPhone. And here's an app, the Bollets demo, that I'd shown. So one thing you want to notice is the title, the icons, they all match what app actually you typed into um, Flash Professional. So I click here. So the thing you're seeing right now is this default.png loadup that I'd actually extracted from the flaw. And hopefully in a brief moment, you'll see these balls flying around. So you kind of see these are exactly the same thing that you'd built on the desktop over here. So one of the really cool things is, you know, I was able to take this content that um, our friends at us too had provided, kind of make some brief modifications and actually show it up. And so you can see it tracks your finger, does all the good stuff. Kind of there's a little info button that looks very iPhone-esque, kind of shows you what's going on. And, you know, it's just a really cool little visual demo. It's a little bit of eye candy, but kind of helps you show, illustrate the point that what was actually on the desktop can actually be put onto the mobile device. So really excited about that. So basically what you saw there, I'll just kind of re review it here for a brief second, is basically we wrote the app, it got built out, extracted, compiled, optimized, linked, signed, and then packaged up, dropped into iTunes. Ta-da, sorry. <laughs> That's a little bit out.